people say you're not going to win the world's strongest man, it hurts, you know, because I've put my life and soul into it. So I've proved you wrong. You know, you can do amazing things if you put your mind and soul to something. And pretty much to the day from my first contest when I was 19, 10 years later, I won the world's strongest man. So it took me 10 years of solid hard graft. And it is, oh, I, I couldn't, if I described it the worst way possible, it still wouldn't be enough. To, to show what I've been through. You know, it's the huge sacrifices. It's from the age of 19, I've probably missed, uh, uh, God's honest truth, 10 training sessions, never miss a meal, you know, stretching, physio, hot cold treatments. I, I have invested well over six figures in, in, in my, on my body, well over. Mm. Nearly lost my wife several times over it, but I've always said it's gonna be worth it one day for that, you know, winning that trophy. And, and it was. Oh, I think I can feel you say dream big, cause boy you're gonna make it. Stay tall is the high road you're taking. Let go of everything that you know and be wild in the mystery. The world's strongest man in 2017. Eddie, the Beast Hall, obsessed over one thing and one thing only. The title to become the world's strongest man. In his quest to achieve this title, he gave up absolutely everything. He also holds a world record in CrossFit, a deadlift world record, and he already owns the title of The Beast. However, I believe Eddie Hall is an absolute beast. Who do you think should feature in the next episode of Absolute Beast? Comment down below. If you enjoyed the Eddie Hall video, check out the playlist in the link in the description. Okay, let's talk stats. Eddie Hall is 32 years old, 190 centimeters, and his competition weight varied between about 186 to 192 kilos. That's over 400 pounds in body weight. He's six times world's strongest man qualifier, 2017's world's strongest man champion, five times Britain's strongest man, six times UK's strongest man, and two times English strongest man. Eddie's greatest lifts. Eddie Hall has a notorious 500 kilo deadlift, 216 kilo axle press, a 465 kilo rogue elephant bar deadlift, 463 kilo deadlift with just straps, 213 kilo log lift, 405 kilo squat, 300 kilo bench, and he's done 10 leg press at 1,000 kilos. And the most recently, a CrossFit Isabel world record of just 50 seconds, which we'll cover on a little bit later. Eddie is a retired world champion strongman. With the growing concerns on his health, Eddie is still renowned as one of the strongest men of all time. But how did he become the world's strongest man? Let's talk about Eddie's past and family. Born on the 15th of January, 1988 in Newcastle under Lyme, Staffordshire. As a teenager, he was a competitive swimmer and a rugby union player. It's pretty suitable based on his build, tall and bulky fits into both of those descriptions perfectly. Eddie attended Clayton High School, but was expelled at the age of 15. Badass. He worked as a mechanic, which made life a little bit more difficult for Eddie. Full-time labor-intensive job, nine to five, and still having to lift heavy after that, there wasn't any sponsorship in the UK for strongmen at this time, with no current world champion being from England in over 25 years. While training and competing as a bodybuilder, he entered his first strongman competition in 2007 
at just 19 year old, bringing his mum along with him to come watch. Italy's strongest man, Alex Coletto, teased Eddie relentlessly about this fact. He took fifth at his very first competition, giving Eddie a taste of what could be. So, the, I think it was the year after that I did the 463 kilo at Europe's mm-hmm. and I pulled it so fucking easily mm-hmm. that I just decided there and then I'm going to pull 500 kilo. Um, and, I, you know, I made it public. I was like, if anyone wants to put the money up front, I'll fucking pull 500 kilo. And that's pretty much what happened. You know, Protein Dynamics put the money up and uh, I, I fucking went for it. And I, I, I still trained for World's Strongest Man but I put my heart and soul into my deadlift sessions. And I put my heart and soul into the, the physio, the recovery, the stretching, everything, fucking everything was landing on that one day. That was a, def- it, it set me up for life, that 500 kilo did, it really did. In no other way anything ever could, mm-hmm. because nobody can take that from you. And it, in my, in my eyes, in my mind, pulling that 500 kilo would, would have made me the strongest man in history ever. And that's why I wanted it. And and all the naysayers on the 500 was, was the worst I've ever had. So yeah, and, and, and just the backlash from that was like, this guy hasn't got a chance in fucking hell. You know, like more me, everybody, every comment saw like possibly 470, maybe 475, but no way 500. And every, every single comment I read, I was like, let's fucking keep it coming, keep it coming. Mm. And it really did fire me. It got me so fucking angry that people said it wasn't possible. Mm. And I knew in the back of my mind it was. I knew it was going to be dangerous, and I knew it was a big risk to take, but I wanted that strongest man in history status. The Beast's first real competition was in 2010, when Dave Meir had to pull out of England's strongest man due to injury. He arranged for Eddie Hall to take his place. This led Eddie to make it into the finals, winning the entire competition by just half a point. Eddie himself is married to Alexandra Hall with two kids, a son and a daughter. I assume quite a few of you are unaware of how a strongman competition actually goes. It's broken down into a variety of tests, from a 1RM deadlift to a speed melody carry to pulling an aeroplane. Just like CrossFit, Strongman is constantly varied functional movements performed at a very fucking heavy weight. Strongman have to be prepared to do, but in no particular order, the deadlift. Who can pick up the most weight from the floor to your hips? This is generally defined as the biggest dick or strongest man in the world movement. The guy who can deadlift the most normally is the strongest. This can be a lift a certain weight event as many times as possible, or just lift as heavy as possible for one repetition. They use a variety of barbells, plates, and obstacles to challenge the strongman to make things more difficult. An overhead element, log press, axle press, dumbbells, getting something from your shoulders to overhead any way possible. A log press reminds me of a muscle clean plus strict press. However, the most strongmen make it look so fucking easy. Stone lifting. Round or natural stones lifted into a variety of heighted objects. Generally, there are multiple stones increasing in weight being lifted onto a set height, placed onto a platform, or put over a bar. The farmers carry. Carry pretty much anything, cylinders, frames, your groceries, a certain distance as fast as possible. The yoke carry. Run with a frame and a shit ton of weight as fast as possible, carried on your back like a back squat. A medley, where you run, lift different implements and loads. You might carry a barrel weighing 100 kilos, pick up a 150 kilo sandbag, and then model with a 100 kilo kettlebell between your legs. Pulling events, which involve pulling cars, trucks, planes on your shoulders, or rope pulling it into yourself. And just in case for some reason someone breaks down and needs to be pulled off the road, fuck the tow truck right off. Back squat, squat 1RM, or a certain weight as many times as possible in usually 30 seconds to a minute. Keg toss, firing things into orbit. Throw a keg, kettlebell, or a weighted object over a specific height. This really helps if you need to get your basketball stuck inside a hoop and you just need to remove it with a 75 kilo dumbbell. And an untold amount of things you can lift or pull in many different ways. Whether you're holding two columns from falling, 
dragging or pushing objects or lifting up a fuck ton of weight, if it's deemed as strength, it will be tested. In many different ways, but all many similar ways, becoming the world's strongest man is just a very fast, very heavy way to become the fittest on earth. You can't be a one trick pony. You must be proficient at all lifts to be the best overall. Eddie is undoubtedly a strong dude, but have you seen a 400 pound man swim, perform ninja warrior, or even do cardio? Eddie is a very versatile individual, and recently he broke an impressive CrossFit world record, completing Isabel in just under 50 seconds. Holy fuck. In case you're unaware, Isabel is 30 snatches for time at 60 kilos. There are many interesting things about this feat that really get me aroused. But let's start with the technique. Eddie chooses a very close, clean grip technique on the bar. This allows him to worry less about the mobility of the snatch and worry about more about getting under the bar faster. Secondly, every single one of his reps would be considered muscle, meaning no use of technique or momentum to allow the bar to travel easier. Finally, there are many people that argue whether this is Isabel or Grace, considering using the close grip and a ground to overhead motion of the bar, whatever you consider it as, it's still fucking insanely fast. People also be like, makes CrossFit workouts look light. Mate, have you tried doing 30 cleaner jerks or 30 snatches for time at 60 kilos? I guarantee you after three to four reps, you'll be putting that bar down. This was a truly impressive feat for me personally, because one of the main reasons, cardio. It's a very short, very fast, and even though it was 50 seconds, you can tell right after the workout finishes, Eddie is fucked. That's the same effect I would have on this workout with a sub three minute time and your mother would have on it too. It just shows the effectiveness of this CrossFit style workout. Agree to disagree. Now, what if you want to consume more content on Eddie Hall? If you're looking to consume more on Eddie, I'd start with the two documentaries about Eddie Hall. First, Eddie Strongman on Netflix. It is a beastly watch of a documentary where the team follows Eddie for two years on his journey to become the world's strongest man. Secondly, Born Strong, featuring strongmen such as Hathor, Brian Shaw, Savukaz, if I pronounced that correctly, the world's greatest strongman. Once you've covered that off, try watching his YouTube channel, Eddie the Beast Hall. Very, very, very dehydrated. I forgot my cranberry juice. Where you can watch content on Eddie try a variety of different things that a strong man probably shouldn't be doing. Whether he eats his wife's daily intake, he does deep sea fishing to ninja warrior, to throwing a 20 kilo plate as a frisbee. Eddie's Instagram has over 2 million followers, following Eddie's home life and journey through life and getting a bit more of an inside look on what makes him tick. Finally, if you've got a bit of spare time, check out Eddie's cameo appearance as a Saxon warrior. My final thoughts on Eddie. Eddie is a true inspiration when it comes to both strongman and sport in general. Nothing is more motivating than watching someone's dedication to a sport and having a goal in mind to win at all costs. Even though there are more successful strongmen out there, none will be as inspirational as Eddie. This video is all about the beast, but in my opinion, he's definitely a beast. Let me know what you think about Eddie Hall. Comment down below now. Who would you like featured on the next episode? Also let me know that too. And as always, stay a beast.